Hello, hi, this is Stephanie from Our Natural Wisdom with another weekly live. Hello, Kay, so good to join you today. Um, I am joining you from our backyard garden and it's a little sprinkly today. I wouldn't mind the sprinkles myself, but my phone wouldn't, so <laughs> I'm using the umbrella today. Um, so you might hear a few sprinkles on the umbrella as well as lots of bird song. And um, yeah, so thank you for joining me. I am an eco-intuitive coach and teacher, and I especially work with women who are anxious perfectionists. I help you reclaim your peace through Mother Earth. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. I bet that you have experienced some beautiful, peaceful moments in nature because of the sounds that you heard. And um, there's no uh, coincidence that is happening for a very good reason, for a variety of reasons. Scientifically, I'm going to talk about just a little bit some of the science behind this, but also energetically and spiritually, because when we tap into our senses, our five physical senses, and today I'm going to be talking about sound. When we tap into our physical senses, it brings us into presence. It brings us into the present moment because our senses live in the present moment. And the more we as anxious women, as perfectionists, the more we are able to bring our awareness back to the present moment, to the here and now, the easier it is to release anxiety because anxiety lives in the future. And stress and grief and sadness often also is in the past. It is based on things that have happened to us in the past. So when we are able to come back to that present moment, it really helps us with our anxiety. And today I wanna to talk specifically about sound, the power of sound. And our house wrens are serenading you right now. They have paired up and they're busy working on bringing sticks to the wren house that we have hanging in our backyard. And I just love their sound. Every spring when we start hearing the wrens, it's just like, oh, it's just such a beautiful sound. And you know, there's a lot of sounds from nature that um, bring up memories from your past. And while I just said that this is about coming back into the present, that awareness that particular nature sounds have a memory for you is also so important and so healing because it can connect you with your wisdom, the wisdom that you have gained throughout all of your journey of life. Wrens in particular always going in and out. I hope that I'm still with you. Wrens in particular always connect me with my mom who, um, who transitioned um, from this life, from the physical realm, almost 12. I'm, and my connection's going in and out, so I apologize for that. I'm just gonna keep going and hope that you can hear me okay. Um, if some, okay, if you can let me know if the connection is okay, I would appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so wrens always connect me with my mom because she had such a, a love of wrens and she would spend her mornings in the spring sitting on our back porch listening to the wrens and watching all of their activities. So I just love hearing the wrens. For me, that feels so grounding and healing. Now, the thing about sound, there's so much to say about sound and the power of sound. Of course, when we connect with those peaceful sounds of waves or of wind or of grasses rustling in the, in the breeze or leaves on the trees rustling in the breeze, all of those experiences involve a resonance. There is vibration that is within sound. Sound, after all, is vibration. That is how we, we hear it, through the vibration in our ears. And our ears, which are really amazing when we think about how that whole process happens <laughs> physiologically. And so 
the earth has a vibration. The earth has a frequency, a resonance. It's about eight hertz, which is um, about the same frequency that our brain waves are um, reach when we are in a state of deep relaxation. So there is so much to be said about connecting with sound in nature. It really does have a physiological effect on us. There have been a number of scientific studies done on the healing and the stress relief that sound can provide us. That it can really, it lowers blood pressure, it um, decreases heart rate, it affects how our body is releasing um, any kind of a stress hormone or um, anything that you know gets us amped up can be so quickly reduced when we are experiencing the sounds of nature. That's why of course so many sleep machines have sounds of nature and lots of different things. Um, one thing that I really love hearing about however and only recently learned about is that bird song in particular allows us to more easily reach a state of relaxation and at the same time has our minds aware not in a state of hyperactivity but the sound of birds um, triggers a, a uh, cognitive uh, reaction for us as human beings. It brings our body into a state of relaxation, but it maintains our cognitive awareness. So there have been a number of studies done about how listening to bird song in particular situations, people that are feeling really stressed, um, such as in a hospital setting or in another high stress environment, that bird song in particular is extremely helpful for calming the body, but keeping the mind engaged in a relaxed state. When we are all amped up, we're in that fight or flight state and nature, the sounds of nature, the resonance, the vibration of nature sounds brings us into that, it's called the rest and digest state, the opposite of the fight or flight state. So, and whoop, the wrens are like right above us right now. <laughs> so <laughs> I bet you can hear them loud and clear. They have a lot to share with us, don't they? And we have found that artificial sounds as well, man-made sounds can, can really contribute to us going into that fight or flight state. But the sounds of nature help us access that rest and digest state, which is such an important state for us to know how to come back to. We know how to do this. Our ancient timeless wisdom is associated with nature, directly associated with it, interconnected with nature. That is where your deep wisdom lives. That is where your intuition lives. And the more you are able to access that state of presence through nature, you, the more easily you are able to access your wise intuition and all of the spontaneous healing that lives in that place. Um, so I think right now we're just going to go into a brief little guided journey and I encourage you to consider how you can incorporate the sound of nature more mindfully in your day-to-day -day experience, how during your walks, maybe just your your sacred walks around your home and your gardens or your morning or evening walk around your neighborhood allow your awareness to focus on the sounds of nature we are all surrounded by the sounds of by artificial sounds by cars and trains and beeping horns and lawnmowers and leaf blowers and you know the list goes on there's so many artificial sounds that surround us and yet, especially now in spring, you are surrounded by the sounds of nature. And it is there, it is there. It is really just a matter of training your mind, guiding your mind, because you are in charge of your mind. 
guiding your mind to hear the sounds of nature, to have those sounds be your brain's priority. They are there for you and there is great healing there for you, great ability to come back into the present moment. The more you do this, it is a practice. It's a simple and joyful and you know easy practice, but it is something that needs to be done on a regular basis because you are truly training your brain to hear the sounds of nature above all other sounds when you are out on your walk or sitting outside your home. So right now I invite you to take some nice deep breaths. And with intention, bring yourself, your awareness from your head space, drop down into your heart space. Just imagine like a soft spotlight that is first on your head space, which is where so many of us live. Imagine that spotlight slowly moving down to your heart space shining that warm glow of light into your heart space. And breathe into that space, your beautiful heart, the entrance to your presence, to your soul, to your intuitive wisdom. And here in your heart space, Maybe you can hear the sounds of nature here where I am. Allow yourself to focus on the sounds of the birds, even the sound of the rain hitting my umbrella. Or if you can't hear that right now, allow yourself to hear any sounds of nature that are around you. Maybe you have the windows open and you're hearing bird song or the sound of rain or the breeze. And as you are focusing on the sounds of nature, picture it as a vibration, a vibration that is extending out to you as an invitation an invitation that you will receive with love and gratitude within your heart space. And taking some more nice breaths. Feel how your heart space so easily and naturally matches the vibration of nature that resonance, that frequency that Mother Earth is always extending out to us, extending to us as a guide, as a way to become aligned, matching her vibration. And feel how within your body, everything just starts to line up. Your awareness, your energy. There is a beautiful alignment of vibration. It happens when you intentionally take in, receive, accept Mother Earth's invitation. to come home to her vibration, to come home to the peace that you can so easily experience in moments throughout your day. And taking this in and knowing that you can access this at any time, it only takes practice. And it is a beautiful, delightful practice. 
know that the more you experience this, the more you intentionally connect with this vibration, the more easily you'll be able to come into this alignment in moments when you most need it because you are deeply wise. You hold the wisdom of the earth within your very DNA, within your bones, within your blood, within your organs, within all parts of your body. You hold the wisdom of Mother Earth. And she is always offering to bring you back, to bring you back home to your wisdom and your peace. And we'll close this guided journey with deep gratitude to Mother Earth and to your beautiful soul. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this. Yes, it is interesting, isn't it, Kay? There's a lot about sound that is so fascinating and um, much to be experienced and explored. So much of it is a personal journey as well. So I do encourage you to continue practicing this beautiful work and I look forward to seeing you again next week. I'll be back at my regular time on Thursday at 10 a.m. Central and I look forward to seeing you again. If this resonates for you, I encourage you to click the link in bio or the link in the caption and sign up for my email newsletter so that you can receive regular uh, tips and uh, messages from nature just for you to help you reclaim your peace. Thanks again for joining me today. I will see you again next week. Take care. Bye-bye.